today's spooky spot. Spot's having a look at something really cool. Spot's having a look today at the Halloween, the Complete Collection 15 Disc Deluxe Edition. Spot was very surprised, got himself a bit of a fright. I guess perfect for Halloween. But uh, the girlfriend actually picked this up for me. Very, very nice of her. I uh, did not actually see this coming at all. And uh, the moment Spot had found out that Halloween was going to be released as a 15-disc Blu-ray DVD collection, I had to... Uh, I was actually going to get it up myself, but again, she just surprised me. Uh, I love this box in the sense, first of all, before we have a look at the contents of the box, I love this box in the sense that it's not overly complicated. If you've seen Spot's review of the... Crystal Lake, the Friday the 13th box set, where it was a tin, and you opened it up, and inside was a little hardcover booklet, and then you had to take, it was like a little Velcro, a little uh, stretch band around it, you had to take that off, and then you had to open up the booklet, and the sleeves were on the side. Ugh, talk about a pain. A pain every single time you want to watch a movie. Halloween, on the other hand, is nothing like that. In fact, the movies are all right there. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to open up. You don't have to solve a riddle. You know, you have to deal with the spider's curse in order to get to the booklet. It's there. Like the, the CDs you just pull out. I'll show you that in a second. But the front of the box has Michael Myers from Halloween 1 on the front. Drawn by this artist down here. His signature I can't make out. But um, it did have this plastic thing on it. And I took it off initially. It just actually peels off. It's got the little, let me just take this off. I can show you here. These little rubbery, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen these probably to death. It's like these little rubbery pieces of chewing gum that they use to stick things to it. At least it's not adhesive. But this, I initially took off and then I thought to myself, ooh, I should probably leave that on because I'm probably gonna want to do a review. So we'll just take this back off. Um, and actually, oh, and we just made a mess everywhere. Look at that. Speaking of frights, looks like Spot played a trick on himself. He just made a mess everywhere. I'm just going to put the cases back in. Bear with me as I just put these cases back. There we go. Uh, the back, let me just take this case off. This little sleeve, there we go. And it says, I really, you know, I did not plan this as well as I should have. On the back it says, Michael is coming home for the first time in one complete collection. All ten Halloween films loaded with extra features. There's a brief read-up. Halloween night, Haddonfield, Illinois, a young boy butchers his older sister in a, with a kitchen knife. Fifteen years later, he escapes from a mental ins institution only to return home and terrorize the town, including babysitter Lori Strode. In hot pursuit, Dr. Loomis is Dr. Loomis, the doctor who tried to treat him until he realized that he was a, what was living behind the boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. His name was Michael Myers. And so began one of the most iconic horror franchises in history, where producers Mustafa Akkad and Deborah Hill, writer, director John Carpenter, and stars Jamie Lee Curtis and Donald Pleasance, stars in this, has spawned 10 feature films and spanned over 35 years. Now, for the first time, experience the, terrify, the terror of every Halloween film available together in one set. This limited edition deluxe set includes 15 discs, gems with content of Halloween fans will love, Brand new, never before seen features, including new interviews with cast and crew commentaries, behind the scenes documentaries, and so much more. Plus, the never before, and this was the reason Spot wanted to get this, the never before released producer's cut of Halloween 6 The Curse of Michael Myers. Here it is, the one that started it all Halloween, the complete collection. The set includes Halloween, the original John Carpenter's Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, which I still love, Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers, Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, both the theatrical cut and the unrated producer's cut, Halloween H2O, Halloween Resurrection, Halloween the 2007 and 2009 Rob Zombie remakes. It also contains the producer's cut, which we've already discussed, new and vintage audio commentaries, new and vintage interviews with cast and crew, new cast and crew tribute to Donald Pleasance. It also includes uh, vintage features the night, he came, the night she came home, Halloween Unmasked 2000, uh, Standalone The Making of Halloween 3, Halloween 5 on the set, The Many Faces of Michael Myers, Michael Lives The Making of Halloween 2007, The Making of Halloween H2O, New, The Shape of Things, a look at Halloween 6 special effect makeup, the new Haddonfield Horrors, the site of Halloween 6. The Horror Hallowed Grounds fan edition, a special edition, a special episode shot 
with and for the fans of the John Carpenter's Halloween. Uh, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, Halloween uh, 2007. Hosted by HHG's Sean Clark with special guests Dick Warlock, Charles Cyphers, Brian Andrews, Tommy Lee Wallace, and Eric Preston. There's an extended cut of John Carpenter's Halloween, the television version of Halloween 2, theatrical trailers, still galleries, and much, much, much more. Okay, so, as Spot had already dropped most of the movies out, on the top it's got Halloween, the complete collection, 15 discs, disc edition. On the side, the original uh, pumpkin used in the Halloween, the first Halloween. And a picture of Michael Myers standing behind the tree, which was... I think, again, from Halloween 1. And on the underside, 2000, uh, 1997, 1978, I should say, 2008. And then we've got the movies themselves. And I think, yes, Spot did not put them out of order. So the individual movies, I'm just going to take them all out here. And once again, easy to access box set. I love it. It's not nothing complicated. I'm going to put the movies right there. You get yourself also a little booklet. I say little, but it's considerably thick. And it just gives you a read-up on the original John Carpenter. Talks about a little behind-the-scenes footage there. Halloween 3. More Halloween 3. I love Halloween 3. I don't know why people rip on that movie so much. Uh, Halloween 4. Or Halloween 4. Halloween. I, I still like that mask. I know a lot of people don't like that mask. It's that, I believe that's the Donald L. Shanks. Donald Shanks version of Michael Myers with a long mask. I like him. I think he's neat. Uh, more Halloween 5. Halloween 6, which I also is one of my favorites. Paul Rudd. Hard to believe. Paul Rudd now. Look at Anchorman, stuff like that. To think Paul Rudd started Halloween 6. Halloween H2O, uh, more H2O, uh, Halloween Resurrection, I hated that movie, the remake, and last last but certainly not least, more of Halloween 2, with partially visible Michael Myers, I don't like that. So you get yourself a booklet, you get Halloween Disc 1, and all the discs are it's exactly the same, not, not much in the way of the inside, there's Disc 1, Disc 2. All the cases are black, which also adds to that good Halloween look. And But you can see, though, not hard to get to. I don't actually have to pull anything. I don't have to open up little brochures and little flaps. And I'm going to pull this out. i got to take out, oh, hey, look, you know, it's part of the shrubbery. i got to reach into the shrubbery and pull out. No, it's not, It's just cases. It's the way it should be. But Halloween 1, uh, you get yourself all the stuff spotted or I mentioned. The Night She Came Home featurette, which I think was only limited to... The Blu-ray release of Halloween, which included that. On Location, 25 years later, which was also a featured before. The TV version footage, theatrical trailer, and TV spots. I kind of wish that they had found... I don't think they've done it this yet, but taken the, the movie... The theat theatrical version of Halloween and taken the movie version of Halloween, or the TV release version of Halloween and put them together. Because like there's a lot of great footage that's in the TV version of Halloween. And let me explain that. The TV version, essentially what it was is they had to trim so much out of the movie that couldn't make make TV because it was a little too much. Like a little, the, the nudity and, and some of the blood and stuff like that. So they cut out some of the stuff, but to fill in enough space that they need for TV, they shot extra scenes. And there's scenes where like, uh, Dr. Sam Loomis is uh, going to the uh, appeal case to keep Michael behind bars. They reveal Michael Myers' middle name, which they never really mentioned before. Um, there's like a lot of really good th uh, TV scenes that I wish they had incorporated into the the, the theatrical version of Halloween. But you can get the, the TV version and the theatrical version uh, are on disc one or on Halloween one. Uh, moving then to Halloween 2, and I'm glad they kept the original Halloween 2 case. I'm, I, I'm actually curious. I don't think it is because... No, it's not. I was going to say, I wonder if it had the inverted cover because uh, Shout also released Halloween... What was it? Halloween 2 they released? 
with and Halloween three with it had the all the alternate covers. Um, I still have those, but uh, I'm so thrilled that they they put the original covers, which I think actually you could flip. You know, it, it was the, the the new released covers, which had more of an arts look to it, and then you could flip it upside down and it had like these these covers. But and I got this flap all out of the all wonky here. Let's fix that. Just like so. There we go. All right, so this one has, uh, again, the theatrical version and a television cut with added footage not in the theatrical version. Again, why they couldn't, they need to bring those two together. Uh, Horde Hallowgrounds revisiting the shooting locations. I love that. Making of Halloween 2. It's got deleted scenes, alternate ending, still gallery. Again, it's also uh, two discs. Halloween 3, once again, the original cover. This still, I don't know, I still don't know what's going on with that. It kind of looks like a Gozer from uh, Ghostbusters. If Gozer was a little uglier. On the back, this has a little more trimmed down. Standalone, the making of Halloween 3. Uh, Horrors Hallowed Grounds, revisiting the original shooting locations. Theatrical trailers and TV spots. Uh, Halloween 4. Ten years ago, he changed the face of Halloween. Tonight, he's back. Halloween 4. The back of that. Audio commentary with actors Ellie Cornell and Daniel Harris. Audio commentary with director Dwight H. Little and author Justin Beam. Theatrical trailer. Got Halloween 5. Um, again, you got Halloween 5 on the set. Halloween 5 original promo. Theatrical trailer. Some audio commentary. Halloween H or Halloween Six, which this this was the one that the reason why I wanted it. this really for me is the reason to get this set. I mean, if you don't have the other Halloweens, the reason to get these all on Blu-ray is above and beyond. You know, just more reason to get it. But to get the producer cut, that is what I wanted to get for sure. Because Spot has the original producer's cut, and it was on like a burned DVD. It was horrendous. The the, the picture quality on it was just terrible. But this has the theatrical cut or the unrated and extended producer's cut. Uh, at the time that I'm shooting this video, I have not seen the producer's cut, but I'm actually going to be watching it like today. So I'll probably do a follow-up. I might even do a spot's thought on uh, on Halloween 6. Uh, but this has the audio commentary, Jamie's story interview with the original Jamie actress Daniel Harris. Curse, the cursed curse, an interview with producers uh, Malik Akkad and Paul Freeman. Uh, acting scared, a look at film's cast and with actresses Maria O'Brien and J.C. Brandy. The New Shape of Things, a look at Michael Myers' Murders and Mayhems with special makeup effects by John uh, Buechler and Brad Hardin, and actor George P. Wilbur, who played Michael Myers, which I actually I think he was also the same Michael Myers that was in Michael Myers' uh, Halloween 4. Uh, same same uh, actor. Uh, Haddonfield Horrors, The Sights of Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, and Director of Photography Bill Dixon, and Production Designer Brad Raymond, and Director of Photography, Additional Scenes, Thomas Calloway. A new full circle, the interview with composer uh, Alan Haworth, uh, cast and crew tribute to Blanc Donald Pleasant's interview, uh, archival interviews and behind-the-scenes footage, behind-the-scenes footage approximately 30 minutes, alternate and deleted scenes not present on either cut of the film. I'm going to be checking that out as well. Teaser trailer and theatrical, theatrical trailer. Got yourself Halloween H2O. The summer terror will be taking, uh, won't be taking a vacation. I never noticed this before, and I, don't, I think they've added this. I don't know if H2O, can you see that is all in the background? I don't think that was actually in the original movie poster. I think it was just black. Uh, this includes new commentary with Steve Miner and Jamie Lee Curtis, moderated by Steve Clark. Sean Clark, the new making of Halloween H2O featuring Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, vintage interviews, behind the scenes, theatrical trailer. One of the Halloween masks that, that there's like four masks in H2O. That's one of them. I, I'm glad they didn't use this one, this mask. Uh, Halloween Resurrection, probably one of my least favorites from the franchise. This has audio commentary, alternate endings, deleted scenes, featurette. Uh, storyboard board uh, analyst, I don't know, analysis, there we go. Set tour production designer Troy Hansen sent interviews with Jamie Lee Curtis, vintage interviews, behind the scenes footage. Not one of my favorite looks from Michael Myers either. He 
kind of just like looked like a really old guy with like really long jaws. Like he had a really long kind of weird cheek thing going on there. You've got the remake, Halloween remake. And this features unrated director's cut with audio commentary, deleted scenes, alternate endings, bloopers, featurettes, reimagining Halloween, meet the cast, casting sessions. It's got the Taylor Compton screen test and theatrical trailer. Disc 2 commentary, Michael Lives, The Making of Halloween. Spot's probably got about three versions of this Halloween. I have uh, the theatrical, the unrated, and then there, I think it was like an unrated three-disc version. But adding that as well. And last but certainly not least, Family is Forever, Halloween 2. It's funny that Spot really hated Halloween, the remake, because I found it really... It ruined a lot of the aspects that I love about Halloween. Michael Myers, I didn't like the way that that was conceived. I didn't really like how they painted Dr. Sam Loomis either as, as like a glory-seeking uh, doctor. But surprisingly enough, I liked Halloween 2. Even though, by logic, it would have crapped more all over the original movies than the remake did. But for some reason, I think I just accepted the fact, okay, this is Rob Zombie, he's going to do whatever he wants. And I seem to like it a lot more. It has audio commentary, deleted and alternate scenes, additional footage, makeup test footage, blooper reel, Captain Klieg and, and Night Creatures music videos, Uncle Seymour Coffin's stand-up routines. And once again, it's just a, a double disc. Disc one, disc two. Uh, I guess, ooh, this is the extra disc. This would have all the bonus features for like all of the movies. And again, when you're finished, it just slides very easily into its box set. Nothing complicated. I love the Halloween, I love the uh, Friday the 13th box set, but I just don't like the way that the box set is laid out. Uh, at the time that I'm shooting this, Spots also watched most of Halloween 2 and some of Halloween 3. And I gotta say, picture quality as well is, is a lot better than I was expecting. It's very clear. It's not clear like some Blu-rays, like uh, Labyrinth is a good example. Labyrinth, I feel watching it on Blu-ray, it feels like it was just shot. It's got that real crisp uh, clarity to it. I don't feel like the Halloweens are like a high definition upgrade. They definitely look better on Blu-ray than they, they ever have on, on standard DVD. I would say though that they look better than the Friday 13th looks. Uh, tr on the tr video transfer, the the Friday thir 13th didn't look as good on Blu-ray, or at least it wasn't to the level that I was expecting on Blu-ray. The Halloweens, I think, look a lot better on, on Blu-ray uh, by comparison. Uh, this is definitely a great set to get, and I'm super happy that I was able to uh, to get this. And actually, it, again, thanks to my the GF who uh, who got this as a gift for me. As soon as I had noticed, as soon as I saw that this was on pre-order, uh, I basically just made like a mental note inside my head that I, I, you know, I wanted to get my hands on this. Uh, this would be perfect for any Halloween fan that really a has not gotten any of the blue, the uh, the Blu-rays, or really for that matter, the DVDs. This is an instant, uh, you know, franchise filler. Like as soon as you get the set, you have all the movies in hand. Uh, the cell. And I think, like, the individual movies are all being released on their own. That, let's say you have the DVDs and you're content with the DVDs, at least you can get, like, the draw for me, again, is Halloween 6. You can get it for the, the producer's cut. That is the price of admission for getting this box set. Uh, if you already have, like, all the movies, I would say, you know, try to find if they, can, if they, are, they do have it. Try to get the Halloween 6 on its own. Uh, maybe you don't necessarily need to get all of these on Blu-ray, but I got to say the presentation is simplistic, yes, but in a way that is just convenient to have. It's not overly complicated. I don't have to worry about taking things apart to get to the, the CDs, and I especially don't like with the, the, the Friday the 13th sets, how you had to pull the CDs from the sides, side pages of the booklet. I don't like that. I don't like having to touch my fingers on a CD and pulling it out. This is extremely simple. I just open up the case and boom, the disc is there. Today's spooky spot. Spot was having a look at the Halloween, the complete collection, 15 disc deluxe edition. Highly recommended if you have them, if you don't have the movies. If you do have the movies, then 
I don't know if you would want to get them all again on Blu-ray, especially seeing as 1, 2, and 3 have been re-released on a, on a really neat treatment. 4, 5, and I think 6 have all been released on like the older Blu-ray formats. You may not necessarily need to get this set if you have those, but if you don't have them, this is an instant uh, collection in hand. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more spooky spots heading your way. Lots more heading to you this month of Spoptober. Thanks for watching. See you next time.